How's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. I'm so glad you come by the shop. It's some nice. Uh, today I have a project starting up on the MTD tractor. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, maybe a couple episodes, but what I want to do is build a carrier for the back of my tractor. Now this carrier, I have no idea what it's going to look like, how it's going to connect to the tractor or anything like that, but all I know is I want it to be able to be connect easy to the tractor and disconnect easy so that means it needs to be removable I'd like to be able to still access the trailer hitch so that I can connect and disconnect my trailer easily and that the trailer can have full swing behind the uh, tractor and this carrier doesn't impede that trailer movement in any way other than that I'm open to suggestions so let's go get started okay so here's the back of the tractor and just envision a carrier on the back there <laughs> that's what I want okay so check my, uh, my home page under about and you'll get my email address there and you can just send me your ideas. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to end up with here. But you know, I've been looking at the trailer, the tractor, sorry, I've been looking at the tractor for a while and I've got, I don't know, kind of an idea how we might be able to connect this. If you look in here, and I know the lighting is not great, but right here, there's a pin there. Well, what that is is a bolt with a shoulder on it and it goes through this part of the body and that part of the body is pretty hefty strong steel and there's another one on this side it's at the same height uh, same relationship to the axle and everything and I'm thinking they must have been put on there by the manufacturer to hold something just because of the nature of them so I'm going to try to incorporate that into something that I can use to hold a mounting bracket of sorts onto the tractor. Go oh, by the way, how do you like my bling? Pretty fancy, eh? Also, there's a couple of just blank holes right here. Might be able to incorporate those. These ones down here are extra holes that I drilled when I put my trailer hitch on. But we're going to go with something on there now. I'm just going to sit and think about that for a bit and we'll be back. So to try to incorporate this uh, standoff or whatever you want to call it, I have a piece of plywood here and I just cut a notch in it. And I also cut like a, a leg up if you can see all that, just to try it. So then I thought, well, you know, like if I could slip that in there, then that would come out something like that. Uh, but you know, the weight is going to be laying out here, sitting out here and forcing that down. So like that would pivot on that okay. And then I could put a piece of wood in here and come across and use, incorporate those two bolt holes. And then have one of these same legs on this side. You know, and hook that up. Maybe, maybe that would work. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to work on this concept a little bit on just to try to make the mount. And we'll go from there. Okay, I've done a lot of uh, measuring, <laughs> scratching, erasing, ripping up, throwing away, sawing, uh, resawing, cutting, <laughs> you know. But anyway, I come up with something like this. <laughs> anyway, the idea of this is it fits in through here. So these arms will hook onto those pins. And that goes in there, and then I can put a couple of bolts through here to anchor that to the back of the tractor. And then my carrier would sit up here and off the back. So I think once I get that bolted to the tractor, it'll be like be able to withstand a lot of weight on it here. Uh, but I think this is only this plywood that I ended up with here is only I think three eighths. It's not very really thick. I have some three quarter inch plywood, I think I'm going to use that, and if I use three quarter inch plywood then these legs will be bigger to give me you know, an, a chance to mount something on these arms that could support uh, a, a, a bed out here. Now I did some more measuring and I found that I have to be, I can't be more than, I think it's 19 inches from the back of this fender 
out or else I impede the action of my trailer. So in fact, to be more precise, I think it was from the center of the ball 17 inches and a 17 inch radius. So that means this carrier can't protrude past the 17 inch radius or else I wouldn't be able to swing the, tra the trailer around. So I have to bear that in mind. I'm coming up with this ultimate design. What I'm finding just putting this on like rough like this is uh, the shoulders on those bolts are 5 8 and I made this slot here one inch so that there's a lot of slop in that and I think what's going to happen when that's in there like that is this is going to rock up and down on the shoulder and then that's going to affect the sturdiness or the feel of the sturdiness at least in this carrier. So, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and make Rip, replicate this mount but made out of three quarter inch plywood. Okay so I'm going to try and lay out what I would need to cut one of these brackets. So I took a bunch of measurements, tried to envision you know improvements that I can make and whatnot. So anyway I ended up I had some three quarter inch pressure treated plywood here. So we're going to lay that out like that. I've already kind of sketched it out. Now one of the modifications I made is this top part here is only three inches wide and I was thinking in order to improve the amount of surface that the carrier would rest on if I could make that wider. So I was able to make it four, four inches wide. So that's what this drawing shows here. That that top leg here you can't hardly see it probably. But this is four inches wide. Then I still have that curved radius there and then over and then my notch out here is going to be 5 eighths of an inch and then I also put a curve on the bottom just like here just I don't know makes it look a little fancier so uh, anyway I have to make two of those so I got one laid out here the other one is going to be laid out here okay so anyway to get started I'm going to make a cut right across here just cross cut cut that off going to put those together and mark those lines and cut that off. Then we'll go touch them up on the belt sander. So I finished cutting out the plywood pieces. So this top part here now is four inches so that'll give more support for the bed. Uh, I also, these notches here, they're 5 8 inch uh, diameter and then a 5 8 inch slot and then I recessed the other side of them here to uh, adapt to this uh, bushing and collar that's in there and then I also rabbit it here to make room for this uh, cross piece that's going to go on right like so. Okay. So let's put all this together I made two of them of course, so <laughs> one for either side. Alright, so that's the way that looks. Let's try it, see if it fits first of all, before we get all excited here. Oh yeah. Fits on there good, what do you think? Now what I have to do is uh, locate the two holes in here where the, uh, the holes in the body part is. So I can put two bolts through there to tie it in. Alright, so I have it mounted here and I put a couple of clamps on either side just to hold it. So now I'm going to uh, make sure that this cross member is flush with the top. And then I'm going to reach in here with my pencil and see if I can find that bolt hole. Right, I think I got that one marked. Now let's see about this fella. I'm going to take the clamp off. I think that's what's causing me some grief. I can just 
just fold that in, I think. I think I have them both marked. Let's take this off now and see how we made out. I don't know if you can see the marks, but I have one mark right there and another mark up there. So I'm going to drill some holes in that, put it back on, see if it fits, and then we're going to glue everything together. Okay, to start with, I have this set up here on the bench. I'm going to just drill a couple of pilot holes. tractor that way the hole is going to be at the bottom so we want it to go this way and then we'll smear the glue on this guy and put this foot on here I got some uh, one and three quarter inch screws so we're just going to run those in So we can, I think we can put this on the tractor now while that glue is setting up, so let's go do that. Alright, so I think everything is assembled correctly. That hole still lines up anyway. This hole lines up. I think we got a good start on making this carrier. I think this carrier is going to be great. <laughs> Depend how it turns out because it's still a mystery. But I think we have a good mount on it there. And in order to get that mount off the tractor, just those two bolts and they're easy to get at. There's that little cutout just above the rear wheels on both sides. You can reach your hand in there pretty easy. So it should be easy to get this mount off and then put it back on. And it's made out of that three quarter inch pressure treated plywood. So it seems good and solid. Eh? That's what I like. But now the challenge is to come up with how to put, mount a box on that so the box is uh, solid and maybe make the box easier to remove too, I don't know. <laughs> like I say, boy, she's a clear open, wide open field for uh, innovation. And hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget, thumbs up me. And for my regular viewers, don't forget, you know the, you know the drill. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk. Thank you.